Howdy folks, this is Jim. I live in Texas. And today I'm uh, uh, collecting another park stamp. I'm uh, out here in the Texas Hill Country, just past Rippy Springs, Texas, a little bit ago. I'm on my way to Stonewall, Texas, where I'm going to visit the LBJ National, the Ranch, the LBJ National Historic Point site, which is his airport and ranch that President Johnson had out here. It is a spectacularly beautiful day today. Uh, it's 82 degrees. Excuse me, 84 when I stopped. It's really 82, I suspect. And uh, crystal clear, just a slight breeze blowing. Absolutely beautiful. A spectacular hill country day. And I hope this camera can capture how pretty this hill country land is. Let's hope so. Uh, so, let me get back on the road. I just stopped over here to the rest area to, to put my uh, camera in. So let's see if we can get back on the road to Stonewall, Texas. The only drawback is everybody and his brother's out here today because it is such a nice day. But you can't really blame them, can you? Okay, here we go. Can I go now? Yes. Come on, FJR. That's pretty. That's just gorgeous. Oh, gold wind. Okay, uh, raise the windshield, cut down the wind noise. Yeah, that should help. Yeah, that should make a big difference. Uh, I almost didn't go. Uh, I had errands, I slept late, I had some errands to run. By the time I got to where I could think about going, it was uh, already uh, uh, past noon. The Texas Oklahoma football game, which is a big game here in Texas, is, is uh, tonight. It's huge, it's afternoon, it's starting about now. And so I wasn't sure that uh, I even, you know, that. I want to go all the trouble rolling the bike out and getting it all configured for a park trip. And then I said, nah, it's a perfect day. You'd be, you'd kill yourself if you just sit there and watch TV, even if it is a good football game. So I'm really glad that even though I was uh, a little tempted to stay home and sit on the Lazy Boy and, and watch the football game, I decided to make this run out to collect the LBJ uh, part stamp instead. I'm really glad I did now. Because this is perfect riding weather. The only concession I made is because I got such a late start, uh, I kind of decided to go on the main roads rather than, uh, there's a, a back road route that's a lot more, probably less, much less crowded and, and uh, uh, much better uh, you know, motorcycle road, but uh, twistier. But I want to get to the park and see their jet star. Uh, President Johnson had a uh, an airplane called the Jet Star. He would, uh, which was a, a one of the very first, uh, really the first business jet. It was made for the Air Force. Had a four-engine business jet, pretty good size as business jets go. And uh, typically, Air Force One would uh, would fly him to Bergstrom in Austin, Bergstrom Air Force Base, and then he would get on this Jet Star to take him to the uh, uh, I think it's about a 7,000 foot or probably less than that, maybe 6,000 foot airport that he had on his ranch, uh, 707, which was Air Force One at the time, couldn't get in there. I had a ROTC instructor who uh, was a T-29 pilot. Uh, T-29 was a two-engine piston. Uh, it was originally as a utility transport, two radial engines. I actually uh, uh, 
flew eight missions in the T-29. I was the last nav class that flew the T-29, but my uh, flight instructor uh, wouldn't fly the president of the T-29, but the reporters and staff and stuff, he was very back and forth. He told us we were from in the ranch out here. I need to go ahead and order a Calci uh, larger windshield with winter coming up. If we can get one that's two inches taller and two inches wider, it'll be better for the winter and quieter for photo vlog. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. Sure. You know, it's not spectacular beauty like the Alps or something, but. Uh, but it's pretty special in its own way. A lot of people love it out here, particularly in the fall. 